greetings to you, friends and brethren around the world. Jesus Christ, the King, is coming. Yes, the King of Kings is coming, and He will resurrect the righteous saints. He's coming at the sound of the trumpet, and this world, my dear brethren, will become Jesus Christ's. How sure are you that our God will resurrect you or change your mortal body to immortality when Jesus Christ returns at the sound of that last trumpet? I'm here to tell you, dear friends and dear brethren, as sure as there is a sun that rises each morning in the heavens, that trumpet is going to sound. The question is, will you hear it? Jesus said that dead will hear his voice in John 5.25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now he is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Brethren and friends, do you hear Christ's voice now? I mean, right now, today, are you listening carefully? Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but he's passed from death into life. John 5.24 Will you pass from this living death into eternal life? If you are not hearing Christ's voice now, nor paying attention to what this work is teaching and warning you, then you will not hear the sound of Christ's voice when he returns. You know, Paul, writing to the Thessalonians, said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. This is exactly what I just read in John 5.25. In Matthew 24 and verse 31, Jesus said, He shall send His angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together His elect from the four corners, or from the four winds, and from one end of heaven to the other. Will that great sound of a trumpet just be so much noise to you? Will it just be a noise? God wants to give you God life. You know, Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said in Corinthians 15 verse 51, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Brethren, that is those who are still alive, those that are still living, as he told the Thessalonians. He said to them, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yes, brethren, the dead and the living will be resurrected or changed. Let's continue in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal, this mortal, brethren, shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Will this be you? Or are you too caught up in the weak, insipid, watered-down doctrines your group teaches? Are you too caught up in that? Jesus said, when He returns, will He find you faithful? Will He find me faithful? In Luke 18 verse 7, Jesus said, And shall not God avenge His own elect, which cry day and night unto Him, though He bear long with them? I tell you that He will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall He find faith on the earth? Yes, dear brethren, God will avenge His elect. Yet, 
Will he find his elect faithful? How faithful are you to the 18 restored doctrines which Jesus Christ restored to his church in the 20th century? Do you know those doctrines? Can you recount them? Do you remember them? There they are on the screen. Read them. They're there. You're looking at them right now. You know, Jesus said the grave would not prevail against his church. It would not die. You know, yet through the ages, that church of God, starting with the Ephesian era, right back with the apostles, and they died off, has seen constant problems beginning with losing its first love for, for the first works. They lost their love for the work. Then the church of God in this last era of Laodicea lapsed into a state of indifference to Jesus Christ and His doctrines. They became self-sufficient. They became lukewarm and He said He'd spew them out of His mouth. This church, brethren, is offered an opportunity to change in the great tribulation. Notice Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. I counsel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that you may be rich and white raiment, that you may be clothed. And the shame of your nakedness, the nakedness of not adhering to the 18 truths or knowing them, do not appear. And anoint your eyes with eye soul that you may see. Brethren, the gold Christ wants to you to buy is the everlasting gospel. It is that message which was preached to the leaders around the world and to millions of their population by Mr. Armstrong. It's a message about Christ returning to this earth. To do what, brethren? Just to resurrect? No! To restore the government of God. Christ wants to resurrect you to assist Him in ruling this earth. And you know what, brethren? He is crying out to this church era of His church constantly through these videos. He says in Revelation 3.21, To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my Father in His throne. You have to overcome, brethren. You have to overcome your rebellion against God's government. Your church leaders, yes, those men that you look up to as ministers, have thrown Christ out of their churches. In Revelation 3 and verse 20, Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man or any woman, if anyone hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and I will teach him and feed him. I will sup with him, and he with me. You have to hear Christ's voice now, brethren. You know, many, many ministers have died. Many minister members have died. How sure are we that we will stand on Mount Zion with Christ? How sure are you you will stand there? brethren, or any of us. You know, we are encouraged by Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9 where he says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a precious people, that you should show forth the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light and shall reign with Him a thousand years. This, brethren, is an awesome promise. Have we in this age come out of darkness? Have we? Ask yourself, have you come out of darkness? Christ tells us through His angel in Revelation 20 verse 6, Blessed and holy is He that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Jesus Christ. Once again, I'll ask all the brethren in the scattered churches of God, all around this world, all of you listening and viewing this video, will you hear the sound of the last trump? Will you recognize it? And do you hear Christ's voice in this message? 
Please, my dear brethren, hear Christ's knock and answer His knock and measure yourself by the 18 truths Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ restored to His 20th century church. So until next time, this is Michael Benish for Christ's 21st century work saying goodbye brethren and goodbye friends.